You thought the hottest hit of the summer couldn't get any hotter. Think again. Last night. More quarterfinalists lit up the stage. The talent turned up the heat. I absolutely loved it. You're like the new evil Knievel. It's fantastic. <laughs> that was the performance of a night so far. Yeah, really. Stunning and hot this evening. Timber Slayer. What a load of claptrap. What? He has no respect. I think you guys should fight. And some acts went down in flames. The greatest train wreck in the history of this show. No, no. Tonight, your votes are in. More semi-finalists will be revealed, bringing four more acts closer to their ultimate dream. South Philly Vikings. DJ Dipper, Harmonica Pierre, Paulina Volchek, The Strange Familiar, Asbach, Luigi, Chips Cook, Kaya and Sadie, Jeremy Van Schoonho, Deborah Romer, and Studio One Young Beast Society. Who have you chosen? This is America's Got Talent, The Result. It's America's Got Talent, The Results. Now, here's your host, Nick Cannon. The results. We are live from Hollywood. Yeah. Now, last night was a battle for the semifinals. We had everything from body popping, belly dancing, harmonica playing, and frankly, it got a little weird in there as well. But tonight, it's all about you. Who's going through? Who's going home? You made the decisions. Now, let's have a look backstage in the green room to see how our acts are hanging out. Wow. They look really excited, right? <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure as the night goes on, it will tense up because the next 60 minutes are going to be the most important in their lives. There are 12 acts, and only four can survive. On top of all the drama, though, performing tonight, America's top dance crew, the Jabberwockies, are here. Yeah. And with the song of the summer, you've been singing it, Mike Posner is in the building letting you know how cool he is. Hey, you guys at home have decided who gets the first three spots in the first round, or in the next round, but the fourth is going to be picked by our judges right here, Piers Morgan, Sharon Osborne, and Howie Mandel. Now, Miss Sharon, you disagreed with Piers all night last night. You even apologized for him. Do you think he's, like, getting it all wrong? I tell you, last night it was a roller coaster ride up here, you know? He, um, getting it all wrong-ish, yeah, he does. <laughs> but, you know, he's so pompous he will never admit it. At least pompous. I admit when I'm wrong. Right, he's absolutely. He's very pompous. He just, he just has that smug look on his he face. He does, doesn't he? You see that? It's not just it's me that from thinks you. that. Honestly. Um, it's all your fault anyway, because you keep calling me an ogre. It puts me in a bad mood. <laughs> he is an ogre, right? Yes. No. Yes. I've, I've been reading the blogs, Piers. Now, <laughs> Howie, last night you kept talking about the wow factor. The wow this, the wow that. I think Howie Wowie. That's what we need to call you. <laughs> <laughs> 
What is this wow factor and how do you describe it? I don't, the, what do you mean, how do I describe it? The word wow is the word I use to describe wow. If I had another word, I would use it. And you know what? <laughs> last night, last night I did see, I did see there were a couple of moments of wow. There were a couple of moments of wow. The first wow factor I saw was Hazpop last night, and there was a lot of others. Okay. But, and I won't, we'll go into it later, but uh, it was, but wow is the only word I have. Wow. I, but I do it differently. I spell it backwards. Yeah. <laughs> Piers, now one of the wow moments and liveliest performances of last night was your buzzer. You think you're being a little too hard? No, someone has got to be here to correct Howie the halfwit and oh, his terrible stop decision. That. Oh, you know what? I just called you a halfwit, Howie. I know. You know what? All he does, you, you have no respect for The man for who told Listen, America, but... I found the next superstar is Chips Cooney. Oh, no, Need I say any more? Enough. You know what? He spent, the night, he spent here. the night here besmirching my reputation. He went on to the Tonight Show and continued to besmirch. I am unbesmirchable. <laughs> I am. You're unbelievable. I know no, that. All right, totally break it wrong. up, break it up, break it up. You got, we, you, we got all night long. The acts have waited long enough. Let's see who's going to take the first spot in the semifinals. Please come and join me on stage. <laughs> The South Philly Vikings, CJ Dipper, and Haspop. It's just overgrown school children in robot costumes. I don't get it. You guys have immense vision. It's really good entertainment. I think it's spectacular. It's fun. It's amazing what you can do with tinfoil and holiday lights. <laughs> We're entertainers, and we hope America saw that, and we hope they put us through to the semifinals. Volleyball, position, magic, singing, Bollywood, Dallas, the Vegas, and now Hollywood. You're bringing your own songs, and you're dancing, and you're writing. You're like a triple threat, and you're only 12 years old. Almost 12. I couldn't understand a single word that you sang. On a positive note, I can never understand a word any rap star sings. So it doesn't matter. What can I say? It's brilliant. Yes! I want it with all my heart. I mean, I'm dreaming, and this dream, I'm never going to wake up from. Las Vegas to Hollywood. That's what I'm talking about. That is wow. That was the performance of a night so far. I would love to get to the summit for now and do this for my kids and my family. So we have the South Philly Vikings, CJ Dipper and Haspop. For one act, it's a place in the next round. For the other two, stand to the road. Now, Miss Sharon, you liked all three of these acts. I mean, are you surprised to see them up there? I'm not surprised, Nick. I am absolutely shocked. I, I, I can't begin to tell you. I don't know what's going on here. I'm very nervous. All right. The nation has made your choice. Let's hope it's a good one. America has voted. The act going into the semifinals and moving one step closer to that $1 million and a headline show in Las Vegas is... on the stage. South Philly Vikings, you guys were amazing. CJ Dipper, you guys were amazing. Has pop. You're going through to the semifinals. 
You said you're doing this for your family, correct? Yes. So what does this mean to you? Everything. It means everything. Howie, did they make the right decision? You know what? I honestly believe that they did. If you are voting, and they did vote on talent alone, on raw talent alone, Has Pop is raw great talent. You know? I believe that... I believe that C.J. Dippa has a future and will be a star. He's at the beginning of his career, and he deserves to have a career. But when you look at that lineup there, the raw talent, the wow factor that you were talking about, has pop. You got it. Yeah. All right, has pop. We'll see you in the semifinals, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hear it one more time for has pop. Still to come, more results. Did you vote? Better hope your favorite made it. And right after the break, we have the incredible Jabberwockies. We'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back. This is America's Got Talent, The Result. Haspop has made it into the next round thanks to you. And you know what? If you think you got million-dollar talent, then audition. Come and show America what you got. For all the information, go to NBC.com slash AGT. So there's tons of pressure on all the acts tonight, and last night wasn't exactly a walk in the park either. It was definitely intense. But afterwards, everyone finally got a chance to de-stress and chill. Here's what was popping in the Over Lounge. <laughs> Oh! You're in the room for the ladies. I mean, any prospects? Marley's room, Studio One. Oh! <laughs> That's how you do it, Blair. Now, Howie seems to be a huge fan. We're a huge fan of Howie. You're going to Hollywood! Here's Howie. Jealous, huh? Jealous. I know you're jealous. <laughs> I'd like to give you a, a, a gift. This is for me? You are the best technical harmonica player I've ever seen. <laughs> this is the Orville Lounge, and that's what's popping! We're gonna make the act sweat it out a little longer before the next result. First, here's a superstar dance crew who started out on this show, and hey, now they have their own hit show in Las Vegas. Give it up for the Jabberwockies! Beware the Jabberwock, my son. Yeah. 
Can I be down, guys? Can I be down? Give it up for the Jabberwockies. All right, fellas. Now, three years ago, you appeared on this show. How important was that to you? It was very significant to us. Uh, we actually competed with uh, our fallen member, uh, Gary Kendall. So, shout out G1. G1, this is for you first and foremost. Second of all, uh, we're just very humbled to be here again, to be able to rock on America's Got Talent. We didn't win, but you know, you win some, you lose some. So, Jabberwocky's crew, you already know. Thank you so much, America. All right, well, you're definitely winners now. Thank you guys so much. You can catch their show. News I see at the MGM in Las Vegas and the single Robot Remains is out August 19th. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it one more time for the Jabberwocky. Coming up, two more acts are going to be punching the air. We're going to find out which two after the break. Finals. Let's find out who will be joining him. If you vote it, it's time to get nervous for your favorites. Please come and join me on stage. Chips Cooney, Studio One Young Beat Society, and Paulina Volchek. Magician you did. Why did you abandon that? Why did you give that up? That, that is what people were responding to. I thought to myself, how could your act possibly get any worse? And wow. sure enough, you took your clothes off. If America votes me through, I'll come back next time with my clothes on. You're exciting, high energy, and I congratulate you. I can see in your eyes how much you want this. That is the best dance crew performance yes. I have seen yes. at this stage. More than anything, we want to be the dance crew to go through to the semifinals. <laughs> Oh, it's boring. It was just you marching around with a rope. I think he's totally wrong. You are a Vegas show. You're incredibly talented. Your timing was perfection. I applaud what you do. I thought it was fantastic. I want to get to semifinals so bad because I have something more to show. Chip Cooney, Studio One Young V Society, and Paulina Volchek. For one, the dream stays alive. For the other two, it's time to head home. Howie, can you call it in this group? I think I, I, think I can, but it, I don't think that's important. America's going to call it. I just want to say one more time to Chips. You know, I, I, I felt bad because I don't want you to feel that we were hard on you. I think you do bring something to the table. I think you're a very fine comedian, like Carl Ballantyne, the ne'er-do-well comic. And I hope you oh, listen to me, us. Let me, me finish. He's asking me. He's asking, he's asking me. I just want you to go back to that. I want you to do that. Regardless, I don't know. The, I don't think you're going to be staying here. But, but, but yeah. <laughs> see, you keep doing that. You see, they applaud. They love you. Stick with that. And I'm telling you, you'll do a lot. You will. Rubbish. And that's what I want to say. But go. And don't What's listen to this man. He has no sense of humor. I he's do a, have a he's sense a besmircher. Of he's a besmircher. All right. <laughs> Gentlemen, calm down. The talking's over. Let's find out what you at home have done. America has voted. The second act going into the semifinals and moving one step closer to that $1 million in the headline show in Las Vegas is... Studio One 
Congratulations, guys. Congratulations. You guys made it. You're now joining Hasbop in the semifinals. Now, last night, you guys spoke about how important it is to never give up. How do you feel now? I, I just, we feel so accomplished, and we know that our hard work is really paying off, and we're on our way to our dream right now. <laughs> Mr. Morgan, you must be happy. Well, obviously, I, I'm absolutely distraught that Ships Cooney is, is going home. Uh, as Howie rightly said just now, he is a world-class talent, one of the greatest finds we've ever had on the show, and I, I'm sure Howie's right. He'll be headlining in Vegas before the end of the year, and I look forward to seeing that show if and when pigs fly over this theatre. Um, back to the main event. You guys, I really am thrilled for you, because last night I saw dedication focus, incredible talent, and a real drive from all of you to succeed. And I watched Jabberwocky earlier. I remember them when they didn't succeed in season two. Look what happened to them. I think it's going to happen to you. You are stars of the future. Stars of the future. Well, congratulations. We'll see you guys in the semifinals. Let's hear it one more time for Studio One Young Beast Society. Thank you, guys. See you guys later. 2X are into the semifinal. Hasbrock and Studio One Young Beast Society. Let's put another act through right now. Please come join me on the stage. The Strange Familiar, Deborah Roma, and Luigi. Your voice is spectacular. You were good, but it wasn't wow. Yeah, I thought 20 seconds were great, and the rest of it was mediocre. We would love for America to know how much we want this, because we want it with everything that we are. We worked so hard for this. vulnerable but sexy and sweet all at the same time. I don't know if I like to see vulnerability as much as somebody owning a performance. You are a star. I really, really hope that America votes me through. got some brilliant singers this year and you're not as good as some of the ones we've already put through so you can't win sorry anyone can win you've got great potential i hope that america remembers what you did before and what you could possibly bring later i really want to get in the semi-finals if i do get another chance i promise i'll do i'll work hard here they are the strange familiar deborah romer and luigi here what do you think will have impressed America? Uh, well, I think America will have thought long and hard about this because Luigi, for example, you had a couple of great rounds and then last night was a bad day at the office and you admitted that. It was, I fell for you. I really did. You know, I know what this means to you and it was tough to see you struggling the way you did. You're a better singer than that. Strange Familiar is a curious case because I've absolutely loved your act, but last night I had a few misgivings. I think you're better as a solo artist. Uh, and Deborah, it's funny. When I watched it back on telly, not sure you probably deserved a standing ovation. I thought that you were very gutsy and you got over the nerves, but the singing wasn't quite as good as, as it seemed to me at the time. So, you know, you're great in terms of potential, but I'm not sure which way America's going to go. So it will be fascinating. But whichever one gets through, I wish you all the luck because it's a great competition this year. All right. <laughs> Guys, one of you is staying in the competition. The other two will be leaving tonight. Let's see what the nation decided. America has voted. The third act going into the semifinals 
And moving one step closer to that $1 million in the headline show in Las Vegas is... Congratulations. Now, how did it feel standing up here with all those other singers? They were the two that I was most afraid of. <laughs> well, no need to be afraid anymore. Sharon, has America got it right? I say it every week. America always gets it right. And I think that we're going to be seeing a lot more of Deborah on this show. Definitely. Deborah, you're going to be joining Hasbop and Studio One Young Beat Society in the semifinals. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for Miss Deborah Romer. Three acts are celebrating, but there's three that still don't know their fate. The result coming up. And after the break, get ready to party because Mike Poser is in the building. We'll be right back. Welcome back to America's Got Talent. The results, we are live from Hollywood. Now, three acts have made it through to the semifinals, and I'm here with the three remaining acts who don't know if they're making it to the next round. Why is this so emotional for you? We've just, we've made it so far, and we've put so much of our heart and soul into this, and so just to be at this point of not knowing what's gonna happen next is just, wow, it's got, it's got wrenching. <laughs> Absolutely, I could imagine. And you're going to have to wait just a little bit longer before we get to the results because right now we have one of the hottest stars of the summer. And you know what? He's a Duke University graduate as well, representing, singing cooler than me. Give it up for Mike Posner. America, I need you to clap your hands with me like this. You a song to make you fall in love I will already have you But under my arm I used to follow my tricks I hope that you like this But you probably won't You think you're cooler than me You got designer shades Just to hide your face And you wear them around Like you're cooler than me And you never say hey Or remember my name And it's probably cause You think you're cooler than me Got your eyebrow, shoes on your feet, and you wear them around like a But she don't know the way that you look when you just make that much noise. I got you off your feet out. You need everything's eyes just to feel seen behind your makeup. Nobody knows who you even are. I could write you a song to make you fall in love. I will already have you but under my arm. I used to bother my tricks. I hope that you like this, but you probably won't. You think you're cooler than me. You got designer shades just to hide your face. And you wear them around like you're cooler than me. And you never say, hey, or remember my name. And it's probably cause you think you're cooler than me. You got your eyebrow switching your walk And you don't even look when you pass by But you don't know the way that you look When your steps make that much noise I got you off 
Any advice for our contestants that are, you know, just starting out? Just be yourself and good things will happen. All right, be yourself. Love that. Mike's album, 31 Minutes to Take Off, is out August 10th, and he'll be touring all over the country this fall. Coming up, our last three contestants find out if it's gonna be good news or bad news. They're desperate to hear it. And uh, right now, let's give it up one more time for my man Mike Posner. Talent, the results. We are live from Hollywood. So far, has popped. Studio One Young Beast Society and Deborah Romer are through. It's crunch time for our last three acts. Only one will make it into the next round, and this time, our judges will decide who that is. Please come and join me on the stage. Harmonica Pierre, Kaya and Sadie, and Jeremy Van Schoonhoven. Stunning and hot this evening. Stunning. My question is whether Harmonica is big enough to actually win this contest. You are the best technical Harmonica player I've ever seen. <laughs> I waited 50 years for a moment like this. It's unbelievable. I wasn't judging. I was just watching. I have to be careful what I say about you because I got married two weeks ago. So I will simply say that I found both your bellies extremely charming. Well, I thought that it was fantastic, very entertaining. We're, we're real women with a real dream, and we just we just want this shot like anybody else. <laughs> You're dangerous. You're exciting, you're unpredictable. It is amazing how you ratchet it up every time. You make it scarier, you make it bigger, and you never fall. You have incredible balance. You're like the new evil Knievel. Spectacular! I want to make the semifinal so bad. I mean, you have no idea. I want this more than anything. So, Harmonica Pierre. Come on down, Harmonica Pierre. Kai and Sadie and Jeremy Van Schoonhoven. For one, the road to Vegas will continue. For the other two, it's a long journey home. The judges have to choose between just two. So first, we're gonna have to send one home based on your votes. Let's find out who that is. America has voted. The act, leaving the competition and going home is
Harmonica Pierre. It's okay. Great job. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, America. Thank you. Thank you. You guys give it up for Harmonica Pierre one more time. Now we have Kaya and Sadie, my man Jeremy. Ladies, why should you guys stay in the competition? We want this. We definitely have the wow factor. And as much as we have appreciated sincerely all of the compliments about our appearances, we are hardworking, dedicated professionals who have spent over a decade perfecting our technique and our timing. And we want a chance to show you and to show America we are going to bring it if you bring us back. Please. Wow. Well said. Jeremy Van Schoonhoven, what would you like to say to the judges? Well, I built all my own props. I've dedicated almost my whole life to competing and riding, and um, I have a lot more that I want to show you guys. All right, Jeremy Van Schoonhoven, Kaya and Sadie, we have two acts. Judges, it's up to you. What you decide tonight will change lives, but please don't take all night thinking about it. You only have a couple of minutes, and we'll get that decision right after the break. America's Got Talent, the results. We are live in Hollywood, and we have Kaya and Sadie and Jeremy Van Schoonhoven. They came in fourth and fifth in the audience vote. Now their future is in the hands of our judges. Good luck to the both of you. It's the judge's decision. Sharon, who do you want to put through to the next round? I want to put everybody through, but I can't. So it, this is really, really hard because they're both so different, yet at the top of their game. I, I mean, Kaya and Sadie, not only are you beautiful to look at, but you really are great, great dancers. And you know what you're doing. You're very professional and stunningly beautiful, which helps. And Jeremy, you are dangerous. And exciting. And I am. I think I'm going to put, well, I don't think I'm going to put Jeremy through. Okay. Mr. Piers Morgan. Well, look, under normal circumstances, uh, presented with a trick cyclist or a couple of beautiful belly dancers, my decision would take about three seconds, and I'd go with the belly dancers. Um, but it's a bit more complicated, because I really thought last night, Jeremy, you really showed me how trick cycling can be a form of big entertainment in Vegas. I mean, you make your own amazing props. I didn't realize all that stuff last night. You made it yourself. I think you were dangerous, exciting, all the things we, we praised you for. The girls, though, I've got to say, I thought we've seen lots of belly dancers on this show. You were really, really good. And I, I took your, your point. We shouldn't just judge you on the way you look, but what you were doing, you are high-class dancers. And it's hard. This is a really hard one. I've got to go in the end, I think, with the act, and I always say this, but it's true. I've got to go with the act that I genuinely could see winning this competition and being a million dollar act in Vegas. And for that reason, I am going to go. I'm going to go with Jeremy. Ladies, thank you so much. You guys were amazing. Here for Kaya and Sadie one more time. Jeremy Van Schoonhoven, you're going into the semifinals. How excited are you? Unbelievably excited and so thankful to be here. 
All right. Howie, you didn't get a chance to vote, but would you have voted for Jeremy? I or... think Jeremy should go to Vegas and Kai and Sadie should come to my house. Uh, <laughs> all right. Now, if you want to see this year's winner and the favorite acts live on stage, catch them at the America's Got Talent National Tour this fall. For tickets and dates, go to NBC.com slash AGT. We want to thank the Jabberwocky. We want to thank Mike Posner, and we definitely want to thank you at home. We're back Tuesday, 9, 8 Central. I'm at Nick Cannon. Good night, America.